Hey again, Pam Coburn Litvak here. In part two of my series on food and mood, let's talk about the top four bad mood foods. The first of these is sugar. Sugar is fuel for the body. The complex carbohydrates we get in fruit, vegetables, and whole grains are like slow burning fuel because they release their energy very slowly. But the simple sugars found in candy, white bread, and pasta dump their energy all at once. This gives us a short burst of energy at first, but leaves us drained and depressed later. And sugar can also cause longer term problems, like diabetes. When sugar hangs out in the bloodstream for too long, it starts making trouble, damaging local blood vessels, body cells, and even brain cells. This last type of damage can pave the way for depression. Studies have shown that diabetes increases the risk of depression, and depression increases the risk of diabetes. Depression is twice as common in diabetics as it is in the general population. So one step that might help is cutting back on our intake of hidden sugar. Because sugar is a preservative, it gets added to a lot of stuff that we might never suspect unless we read the nutrition label. The technical name for sugar often ends with O-S-E, like sucrose, glucose, fructose, and others. Other names for sugar include honey, molasses, agave nectar, corn syrup, turbinado, and others. If sugar is one of the first three ingredients on a nutrition label, then it's considered a high sugar product. Another thing that we can do is also cut down on added sugar. We can do this by replacing sugary snacks with their natural counterparts. The second bad mood food is other refined carbohydrates. A dead giveaway for refined carbohydrates is a white, pasty color. White grains and white flour products are usually highly processed, meaning they've lost a lot of their fiber, vitamins, minerals, and healthy fats. These also have a high glycemic index, which means they release their sugar into the bloodstream almost as quickly as straight table sugar. A high GI diet has been linked to higher risk of depression. But whole grain pastas and brown rice have a lower glycemic index, and they release their energy slowly. So they don't cause sugar crashes, and they don't result in the insulin resistance that we see in diabetes. Whole grain carbohydrates are also rich in a type of fiber called beta-glucans that promotes healthy immune system function. And this is really important because immune system problems like inflammation can cause depression. So try switching over from refined white flour-based products to their more unrefined counterparts. Glycemic indices of 55 or lower are considered healthy, unrefined carbohydrates. The third bad mood food are bad fats. Trans fats are sometimes found in fried foods, margarine, and commercially prepared baked goods. They're so bad for you that they've been banned from the safe food list put up by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Trans fats should be completely avoided if possible. Saturated fats are found in red meat, eggs, some seafood, and certain types of plant oils. Saturated fats increase the levels of cholesterol and triglycerides in the bloodstream. This cholesterol doesn't just block the arteries supplying blood to the heart, it also does the same thing in the brain. And this is probably why high cholesterol has been linked to faster development of depressive symptoms. Saturated fats should only make up about 10% or less of our daily food intake. We can also switch out saturated fats for polyunsaturated fats, like olive oil, avocados, nuts and seeds, certain plant oils, and oily fish. Another area to watch out for saturated fat is dairy, because full-fat dairy products can also increase blood and brain cholesterol. So try replacing full-fat dairy foods with lower-fat options, or, if you want to go vegan, with plant-based options. So the top four bad mood foods are sugar, other refined carbohydrates, bad fats, and full-fat dairy. Please like and share this video, and take a few seconds right now to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching.